So I was watching YouTube this morning and I came across Ashley McIntosh's video where he reeled in a manual reel and he reeled in the new 3D power up reel from Window Clearing Warehouse. So if you haven't seen that, I'll put a link to his video, go and watch that and see how fast he uh, reels in his reels. And I thought, well, there's a challenge. So today I'm going to try and reel in my new powered hose reel. So here's the homemade powered hose reel, been using it for nearly a year now. I've got Elijah there with me, who's gonna stop down there and do the timing. And we're gonna see how quickly we can get it done. So here we go, I'm going to wind it in, I've got a larger time in it, and I'm going to wipe the hose as it comes in and we'll see how quickly we do it. Ready? Three, two, one, go. And the time is live. 42.9 seconds. That's 100 meters on a homemade power reel in 42.9 seconds. That's not bad going. So uh, basically it's blown the power up reel out of the water and that's a homemade reel for about 50 or 60 quid. Now the only problem is I have had to remove the list of parts off the homemade reel. I'm having trouble sourcing the sprocket. Uh, to put a link in for that. If I do manage to find some sprockets, uh, I'll put the link back on. Uh, but at the moment, the only ones they're selling, the hole in the middle of the sprocket is too small. So if you're okay with uh, a bit of DIY, you can buy one of those and then cut it out yourself to make it a bit bigger. But if you're not so happy with that, then you'll have to wait until uh, I find one that is any good. But uh, at the moment, there doesn't seem to be any around with the right size. So I hope you enjoyed that, it's just a bit of fun. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you have a look at the playlists to see everything I've got there. I've got a, a playlist just with the power reel in it. See how, uh, what you think of that. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye for now.